happen to me. Okay, get his arm. Got him. Thinking fast. I'm not even sure he can hear me. Sam, I'm going to level with you. The transition is going to be dangerous. The computer has been living your life for you. When we take you off, you'll run down like a busted clock. We have the DNA stabilizer hooked up to your arm. And if it works, then your body should start up and you'll take over on your own. But if it doesn't, all I can say is, God bless. Before you disconnect, switch to pure oxygen. Saturate him. It's the same as a deep water dive. He's got to start breathing within five minutes, or he drowns. When I give you the word, unhook the life support system. Ready? Here we go, Sam. Stabilizer on. Crossing over, shutting down, and out. Disconnect. Look. Hi, Sam. Hi. I've never been so glad to see anybody in my whole life. Well, Sam, you've got to get it through your head. That machine is stabilizing you. It counters the invisibility field. Without that DNA stabilizer, you fade out permanently. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I just gave up that nice life support system to spend the rest of my life handcuffed to this electronic nurse here? We're working on a miniaturized version, something you can carry around. What, like a 50-pound pacemaker? Nope, not like a 50-pound pacemaker. Like a digital watch. Give me the design section. Believe it or not, this is an exact replica of the large version. Miniaturized down to the size of a digital watch. Fantastic. Can I put it in? Sure, but... You see these gold circuit contacts? They must stay in contact with your skin, or you go invisible. What if it runs down? It can't. It's powered by plutonium and cobalt chips. An atomic battery. That's right. But you can turn it off. This button, it changes the frequency. You press that, and you go invisible. Can I flicker on and off? Like a road blinker. All right. For the man who has everything. Come on, get this shackle off of me. Sam, what are you doing? I'm gonna flicker. You said I could flash on and off, right? Sam! How does it feel? Like a bad case of the hiccups. Another thing. The maximum you can stay invisible is 15 minutes. What happens at 16? You pass out, you fade away, and you never come back. 
Get some rest. Our boss, Mr. Driscoll, wants to see you first thing in the morning at Intersect. Well, I hope it isn't that Denby guy again. I'm one of the good guys. Huh? Name's Casey. Oh. Intersect. Oh, okay. Of course, of course. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Arthur Hale of Intersect's Technological Division. Nice to meet you. Okay. I was supposed to meet Mr. Driscoll 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it's all right, so was I. Listen, you got any idea who those turkeys were? Well, let's just say that Mr. Driscoll will get into that after the briefing. Dr. Hale's new fuel additives. So called because it triples vehicular mileage. Seventy miles to one gallon? On one gallon of the mixture, yes. Cars with special carburetors did even better. Congratulations, Dr. Hale. This certainly will reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Yeah, but then uh, one man's meat's another man's poison. Meaning that certain foreign oil interests won't be overjoyed. True enough. Could obviously cost them billions. You saw what happened in the parking lot. But how did they find out? The security leak, unhappily. Not at Intersect. No, no, no. In Washington, I'm afraid. You see, last week I contacted federal authorities and told them we planned to deliver two gallons of tripolidine to the Federal Energy Commission's branch office in Long Beach, where it would be tested and certified. My purpose was to request an army convoy. Within a matter of hours, Mr. Driscoll had a call from the head of an international oil combine. They wanted to buy all the rights to Tripolitine. To suppress it, of course. <laughs> of course. That's why I urged Mr. Driscoll to get the additive to the Federal Energy Commission as quickly as possible. Meaning tomorrow. Operation delivery will begin at precisely 0500 hours when an army convoy will depart the laboratory. But in view of the security breach and just between the four of us, that convoy will be a decoy and will not be carrying the tripolidine. All right, so who will? You will, Sam. It's your present assignment. Sam, in precisely 600 hours, this rig will arrive at Dr. Hale's laboratory, and you will be at the wheel. Let's take a look inside. Dr. Hale has devised this chamber, constructed a bullet-resisting armor plate. That's right. Now, Dr. Hale will write in here with a two-gallon bottle of tripolidine, his special equipment used in the refining process, and all his secret formulas. Okay, I think I get it. If we run into any trouble, then Dr. Hale can hold out in here until help arrives. Is that the idea? Right. Now, Sam, the Federal Energy Agency closes tomorrow at 1,800 hours. Your mission is to protect Dr. Hale and get this rigged to Long Beach on time. 